some very intense battles in this uh, race grouping. Some cha real championship battles happening as uh, our cars have been released out of the pre-grid area. Gerald Pates leading the way. And surprise, surprise, Mark's auto body. Second place, front row position. And a couple of uh, surprise, surprise, some IP3 cars in the second row. Those little uh, CRXs and Honda Del Souls just seem to be getting faster and faster. You see some of those cars weaving back and forth? No, that's not too many uh, lunchtime martinis. It's a uh, way the drivers use to heat up the race tires to optimum temperature and clean them off as well. Uh, high performance tires like a little bit of heat into them before they uh, really start to grip the pavement. And as a result, you'll see them weaving back and forth. Back of the grid, uh, Todd Shane, he must have either missed the five minutes or had some sort of a difficulty. Or, bit, or he missed qualifying or something and then he started to very fast. While the field is going around the track, uh, I see the uh, festivities under the uh, fart tent have uh, wrapped up. So I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all our American racers for coming in, uh, coming up and playing with us, coming north of the border and uh, attending our event, having fun. Just a reminder that uh, that'll happen again in Labor Day weekend, or a lot more of our American friends will be crossing the border to race with us here at the uh, River's Edge Road Course. Mark that on your calendar, three-day weekend. As the pace car rounds uh, turn six, the uh, overhead lights flip off, and uh, off he goes to take his uh, position while the rest of the field remains on track to carry out the prescribed pace speed and uh, maintain the required formation. So our beautiful Mazda 6 pace car. Rounds turn 9, peels off and comes into the hot pit lane. And the rest of the field is now just making their way through turn uh, 8 into turn 9. Hopefully still in that 2x2 two two formation, no one getting an advantage. As the pole center has really slowed the field down and bunched up neatly up. Our starter uh, watching the formation. He's happy, he's waved the green flag, and there it goes! Green flag waves, and they're off and running. And down the corner they go, and it looks like no problem with the uh, Grand Prix, and then either a missed shift or something happened there, as he normally sprints away from the field, and the BMW has assumed the lead. Okay, all your Marks Auto Bodies, uh, Dino fans, start waving, he's out in front. How long he can stay there, we'll see. And the rest of the field, like, start from uh, Gerald Pace. He's managed to recover. As the BMW powers it through turn four, makes a sweeping uh, left hand and then the right hand turn. The uh, Grand Prix right behind him, looking for a way by as uh, third place. Uh, Burton Reynolds, fourth place, has been uh, taken by uh, Storms is in that battle for IP3. Yeah, the current main third away down the front straightaway for the first time. BMW leads the way. They have to make their way to turn one. They still manage to hang on to the lead in a battle for third as well. Cars trying to uh, make their way up through the field, making some passes going into turn one. 
Rachi trying to make up ground as he makes his way past uh, one of the BMWs. Sorry, I missed Bunker earlier. It's the car, uh, car number 99 is driven by David Del Monte. He loses the lead. Uh, Nina would have never lost it. Uh, David uh, trying to hang tough with that Grand Prix up front. Pates in the lead, David Del Monte in second, Burton Reynolds third, and Kurt Storms fourth. Amir Candy managed to hang on to fifth. And Jason Nash in sixth place. The rest of the field falling behind. Once they settle down a bit, I'll give you more of the running position in the different classes. And the big BA power finally kicks in. And Gerald Pate starts to uh, edge away from David Del Monte. Battle of watch as Kurt Storms tries the inside pass going into turn one. They, they both go way deep into the corner, make that round the corner into turn one. Kurt Reynolds managed to hang on to that lead in IP3. Another battle further back between Jason Nash and uh, the other similar looking CRX, driven by Dustin Jones, as Dustin is trying to way, find a way back. Jason. by Todd Sheen, still trying to make his way through traffic. He's going to be trying to track down that BMW driven by David Del Monte. He's got a long ways to go in a short period of time to make up that lost ground. Battle for IP3 is rages on as Burton Reynolds manages to play a hold off Kurt Storms. Amir Candy, third place in that group. Jason Nash, fourth and Dustin Jones fifth, all contesting that uh, IP3 championship. Gerald Pate's really stretching it out now. David Del Monte trying to uh, keep pace, but uh, just doesn't have the horsepower. Burton Reynolds once again has a bit of a breathing space as they go down into turn one. Manages to uh, hold off uh, Kurt Storms. Here comes Todd Sheave as he's made his way past a number of cars as he's uh, continuing to track down the BMW driven by David Del Monte. wanting to give an inch. Dustin Jones, driving car number 24, still looking to try, try and find a way past uh, Jason Nash. I think he thinks if he can do so, he can make up a little bit of ground on the car ahead, but he's being held back a little bit. On to the front straightaway again. Here comes that battle for IP3. Burton Reynolds still in the lead. Because he's got the, a little space as it gives it. See a little bit of uh, brake pumping happening on that lead car, making sure he's got some braking. As Todd Sheaf blazes past, and it looks like Dustin Jones on the outside of Jason Nash. It's a Nash sandwich between himself and uh, as we watch those cars come out of turn one. There could have been calamity there, but everyone behaved and managed. Oh, and uh, Jason Nash not giving up. He's going on the inside of turn two. While those two are battling for class position, Todd is looking for a way past both of them. He managed to do so in between turn uh, two and three. So we look to that lead of uh, IP3, and it's still Burt Reynolds as they go through turn four, five, and six. Amir Candy uh, a little bit further back in uh, third. like Dustin Jones has made his way past Jason Nash. So he's going to take up and see if he can catch uh, Amir Candy. We'll see how that progresses. And as that's happening, it looks like uh, Burton and uh, Kurt are pulling away a little bit. So 
those two drivers the uh, class of the field right now as far as uh, IP3 is concerned. So Dustin Jones in that car number 24 as he's taking his way up to turn one once having passed uh, Jason Nash. He's managed to put a few car lengths between himself as he takes up uh, trying to hunt down uh, Mayor Kidd. He third place in that uh, race group.
cars as it slows it down to the point that the beer candy has caught up a little bit. Closed up with two liters. As we have one car go wide and turn it up. Like for the Mazda uh, Miata. He better stay out of their way, otherwise there might be some grief down in turn one. As he uh, politely again stays wide and allows those two uh, IP3 leaders to uh, make their way through. Not holding them up. Good job by Forrest. That's one of the issues you have when you have uh, multi-class races. You have to be aware of who's in which class and uh, make way for the uh, quicker guys and uh, try not to get embroiled in their battle and uh, ruin it for someone. All the while uh, competing in. As that uh, Spec Miata race continues to rage, Andre Kissel in the silver car just exiting turn one continues to lead that Spec Miata battle and the uh, duel going on. Rod Davis is trying to keep pace. Looking for a way by. Coming out of the front straightaway, this time Burt Reynolds looks like he's got himself a little bit of breathing room for the first time in this race. He's got about the 10 car length lead over Kurt Storms. And, but we see the, uh, the brake lights winking on as Burt is pumping those brakes. He's got some good solid pedal going into that hard braking area in turn one. Kurt Storm's trying to keep pace. Kurt with the, uh, the lights on in that little CRX as he starts to make the way through some of those four cars and just to make sure they see it coming. Yeah, for some strange reason, uh, Gerald Pace that time passed the starter stand. Seemed like he was just cruising. Maybe his crew has told him to back off a bit. He's got himself a big, big lead. David Del Monte continues to run his second place overall. He's running in the GTM category.
but not being able to close up. A bit of a frustrating uh, afternoon being at, at the same speed, just not being able to gain. Here comes that spec now to battle down the front straightaway again. It looks like Andre's got a little bit of breathing room this time. And David Del Monte is uh, sort of wedging himself between those two uh, Marazdos. Yep. driving that to number 50 BMW. He's coming up on that spec out battle as well. Again, Bert Reynolds still leading that IP3 battle. I'm sure he's looking in the mirrors and gauging of how far back Hurt is at each time they come around uh, into that turn one braking area. sitting in the grandstand, you can imagine yourself working hard with three layers of Omex on, a helmet on your head, and a closed-in cockpit. It's going to be hot inside those cars, they're going to need a big cold drink when they get out of that car. So the IP3 uh, leader is making their way past some of the slower cars, and uh, BMW driven uh, by uh, uh, Raymond Torres. Neatly makes his steps aside for those cars. Probably only a couple laps left in this race. So Kurt's going to make a move. He's going to do it quick because he's not gaining any on Kurt Reynolds. He's keeping pace but not uh, flying up on the back bumper of that car at all. Andre Kissel and Rod Davison. So coming through turn eight and nine, Burton Reynolds still in the lead as he sweeps his way past one of the other cars as he sees the checker flag, he sees Kurt behind him, and across the line, he's happy boy. Pleased with that win, a hard fought battle over Kurt Storms. Held him off the entire race. racing action out there. Open wheel, you should be hitting out of Free Grid. Open wheel group. 